I found this website full of the dumbest Minecraft world records and I've been obsessed with getting my name on it. Then I found this. Most houses built in Minecraft in three days, a record held by the British for the past six years. As an American, the only thing I love more than Walmart and apple pie is humiliating my English counterparts. So hold on to your fish and chips, Mitch, because I declare revolution. I built the first house and that took an entire hour. At that rate, it's gonna take me 114 years, assuming I never take a break. <clears throat> So here's the game plan. I'm gonna code a data pack that can build those houses for me. Obviously I can write some code to copy and paste the same house over and over again, but that would be super lame. So for the sake of variety, I'm gonna have each house be composed of 27 different pieces, each piece having 10 different variants, which means I'll be able to generate one octillion different house permutations, a number so inconceivably large, it's impossible to wrap your mind around, unless we visualize it using pigs in a blanket. Let's say for a moment, one weenie equals one house. One by one, you remove those little weenies from its delicious crescent roll covering and start lining them up. Your line of weenies will be able to wrap around the circumference of the Milky Way. 10,000 times. In theory, uh, assuming I can actually get this to work. So the first step is getting this wireframe to build itself automatically using jigsaw blocks, which are just secret Minecraft blocks that tell the game how to generate more complicated structures, like this giant cube that will be the basis for all of our houses moving forward. With the basic configuration out of the way, I made a giant field of wireframes and then I was ready to start building. These 10 hours of building really tested my spatial reasoning. I had to come up with a strict set of building rules and follow them to a T. Otherwise, not everything would fit together. I knew that a single mistake could cost me hours, which is why I'm so nervous for this next part. You see, I'm trying to put together this scattered mess of houses using jigsaw blocks. Usually Mojang uses these to build sprawling structures like villages and mine shafts. Although it's not like what I'm doing is that different, I'll probably be fine. It's not fine. I don't know what I did. I broke it so badly, I can't even get into my world anymore. Why did I think I could challenge the British? I should have started with Canada. Oh. A comma. Hey look, I'm back in the world. And I was able to go from the wireframe over here and then slowly start building up layer by layer until we get to full blown houses on the end. RNG Jesus is just kind of doing whatever the heck he wants and it's looking pretty good. It kind of works. And look at this, it's not just a hollow shell, the inside is actually complete. I mean, it's not the Ritz, but it's got rooms like kitchen, clock room and nether wart room and doors sometimes. Yeah, the, the inside is fine, the outside is fine. It's a house, gosh darn it, you can't deny that. Oh, and huge shout out to Mega Mewson for this crane design. I mostly copied it, but I threw out the OSHA regulations. I wasn't really thinking when I put the control panel right beneath the counterweight. Everything seems to be working, and now we have a way of building houses instantaneously, which is still too slow. If I were to do something less impressive, like say building a thousand houses, maybe this would be fine. You see, clicking all these buttons, it takes me like a second. And I'm not even being dramatic right now. A million seconds is like 11 and a half days. We literally do not have time to do it this way. Then suddenly it hit me. When I'm not making history and defending America, I'm making Minecraft updates. And I get a ton of complaints about how frequently my custom structures generate, which got me thinking, what if I do the same thing with these houses on purpose. So I wrote some code to do exactly that. And I thought I could just log into a super flat world and see my glorious houses spread from horizon to horizon. But when I created the world, I saw nothing. I double checked, triple checked everything. And this time the problem was a lot bigger than just a comma. I could feel the British laughing at me. And as much as I didn't want to give those smug tea drinkers the satisfaction, I was on the brink of giving up, grasping at straws, and randomly I decided to make a planes only world to see if that would fix it. Okay guys, if this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna scrap the video. Oh, it works! It actually works! Well, hold on, this this is like almost unplayably laggy. I don't know what what's happening. Okay. The, the, this is actually just one really big house. Probably the biggest house, dare I say. After accidentally claiming an unrelated record, I knew we were close. So I made some adjustments, wrote some code to count each house, reloaded the game, and just like that, the world record was in reach. 
I couldn't believe my eyes. With every step, Suburbia sprung from the soil and stretched into the infinite. Yes, like Icarus, I would chase the sun, but with wings of steel, because with invincible determination and a dream, anything is possible. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. Anyway, I coded this fighter jet a few months ago and figured, hey, we need to fly in a straight line for at least 16 hours, so why not do it in style? But 16 hours, while possible, is still too long for my goldfish-like attention span. But then I remembered, Minecraft is a 3D game, so I made some changes. By now, you understand the how, but why? Am I doing this to leave behind a legacy my future children will be proud of? Am I doing this to inspire others to reach heights they never thought possible? No! I'm doing this for the validation of strangers on the internet, baby! I have been doing this for 10 minutes and already deeply regret my life decisions. That said, my pace is actually pretty good, and I've made some observations. First off, turning on and off shaders, it doesn't actually speed anything up, so I'm just gonna leave them on. But surprisingly, I decreased my render distance, and that really helped. The way I coded my counter, nothing outside the simulation range gets counted anyway. Oh, oh my god, I'm too fast, I'm too fast. <clears throat> anyway, anything beyond 12 chunks is just a waste of processing power. Flying through this infinite expanse of floating houses, knowing that each home is cold and empty, and that there's no way out of this lonely, endless, identical labyrinth has me feeling... liminal. Okay, let's stop thinking about that. I'm gonna put this baby in autopilot and go grab a Hot Pocket. What the heck happened here? I came back and my game was frozen, and I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in the wall. How does this even happen? Ah, wonderful. Apparently, I need to babysit my fighter jet like it's some kind of helpless toddler. So I guess I'm just going to sit here. I'm gonna fast forward to the halfway mark. Enjoy the dubstep. So, according to this diagnostic report, the plane ain't looking so hot right now. But I fixed it and we just passed 500,000 houses. My computer is screaming and putting out an unbelievable amount of heat, so my room is like 85 degrees. At this point, I have been sitting here for four hours now, and I'm exhausted. You can tell since the video quality is steadily getting worse. So, let's just skip to the end. Dubstep. Go. After traveling nearly 600,000 blocks, generating a 28 gigabyte world file, and eight hours of my life down the crapper, America is saved. We reached 1 million houses, beating the previous record of 80. 80. Wow. O okay, none of this was necessary. But hey, Minecraft is a game about making your own fun, and I had a ton of fun. Full disclosure, this was just a goofy experiment. I don't actually intend on submitting this, since I feel like it goes against the spirit of the category, and I want to be respectful to the people who do take it seriously. Anyway, if you want to play with this data pack, you can download it from my Patreon. Speaking of, huge thank you to my current Patreons. It's my dream to do YouTube full-time, so your support means the world to me. Now go check out this video. Trust me, it's really good.